Colville leather. It comes in this rough looking cotton bag. Let's dispense with that. And oh boy, look at this. I'm telling you, this is a nice wallet, even though it looks fairly simplistic. Looks like we have some advertising in the front here. Welcome to the family, thank you. Let's look at it really closely. Again, rivets is what secures this. One piece of leather. Look at how you don't even have to break this in. It's already there for you. Excellent. Looking at the features, there are none on the exterior of this wallet. Mm, I always wish we had a quick access card slot there. We come to the interior and we have one and two card slots right here in the front. They're really card slits is what they are. They go back into the same area, which takes us into the billfold slot back here. It's not a pocket because we don't have leather that goes all the way across and you don't open it this way. It's open, so it's open face for your currency and your notes to be placed in here. Six to nine cards can be placed in these slots and of course we will check to see how this fits with currency. And that is a quick review of the features of the Coolville Leather Longshore. Colville Leather has created a mix of very attractive wallet designs, including this Longshore, which upon first inspection would seem very simplistic, but then it starts to pull you in. Let's keep going. It measures 3.7 by 3.5 by 0.7 and weighs 57 grams. You saw how this worked. Minimalist four, reasonable six cards. The company makes really no recommendation on the numbers of cards or cash, but the way it's designed, it will stretch. Leather does that. I'd recommend probably nine cards before you begin stretching it, upon which, as you know, once you stretch leather, it's really hard to get it back down if you decide to reduce the number of cards. You can shrink leather, but that's a whole other process that we can talk about later. From a quality perspective, it's designed and made in the United Kingdom. It is a full grain veg tan. You know, I'm going to check this out here. Oh man, that's a that is a great smelling leather. Lightly burnished on the edges right here. Easy to see, feels really good. Nice cut. These rivets are really nice. I think they're brass and they're well proportioned to the wallet. Nice little stamp here. It just feels great. It's priced for $54. The currency insertion and extraction really is due to the cut not being too tight and not too generous. It really worked well. It was easy to get in there, trust me, even though it may have not looked like it. Now the wall comes with a very comfortable break-in already in place. It just comes like this. You don't really have to do much more with it and you know it, it, it reacts like it's already broken in. You can see how it fits in your pocket, both the front and the rear. This is another example of a small shop producing excellent products via skill and talent derived from the time they spent learning. This just doesn't happen overnight and it takes a skilled eye and creativity to come up with this. Now onto the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of three, does exactly what it's supposed to do, usability of four. It's the proper sizing and proportions make this wallet really a beauty to feel and look at, and that's what really contributes to the features in my mind. And perception of four. That gives us a great score of 40 out of 50. Another uh, great rivet type wallet that's part of our top five rivet wallets, which you should be looking for. Look for these other videos. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.